Good morning. We're in Psalm 37 again. Excited to be with you in the Word of God. Uh, why don't you open up with me there? Yesterday, we read, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. And the context of this was that we're to fret not because of evildoers or be envious of wrongdoers because their day is going to end. Instead, uh, in light of that, in light that this is only a temporary evil that's here, uh, we need to be trusting the Lord and doing good, the opposite of being uh, evil um, and dwelling in the land, uh, cultivating faithfulness. And, and our delight shouldn't be in, and our preoccupation shouldn't be in with all those other things that are going on, but delighting ourselves in the Lord and he will give us the desires of our hearts. And those desires are obviously wrapped up in trusting him and doing good and pleasing him. And so um, there we are. Uh, the Lord gives us commands. Well, this morning he continues those commands for us as we are to live in the light of an evil world. And the first thing he tells us here is uh, to commit your way to the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. Difficult thing to do in these times, commit your way to the Lord. This word commit means to roll up. And it's kind of hard, to, it's kind of a hard idea in, in the English. Um, but the idea is that you're to, to roll up your life and roll it into his. And that's the idea is that we're to commit or cast Maybe that might be a way of, of, of looking at it from a biblical perspective is, is cast your cares upon him. As you're looking at everything that's, that's going on, decide that you're not going to take that burden upon yourself to fix everything, but instead roll up your life, your cares, and everything that's going on and cast it on him. Uh, commit your way to him and what he is uh, accomplishing what he says in his word. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will bring it about. He will, he, in other words, he will take care of what he promised to do concerning evil in the land, concerning uh, your heart before him, the worries that you, have, that you have, all those things. You roll your life, you throw it upon him, you uh, humbly trust him, and he will act. He'll bring it about. And he says here in verse 6 that he will what? I love this. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. I like what uh, Matthew Henry says about this. I'm going to bring you over to my browser real quickly. He says, in particular, he'll take care of your reputation and bring thee out of the difficulties, not only with comfort, but with credit and honor. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. That is, he shall make it to appear that thou art an honest man, and that is honor enough. What a what a neat uh, what a neat uh, <laughs> little insight there. I think is just just profound. In other words, it seems uh, for a time that as you are trusting in the Lord and you're committing your way to the Lord and you are seeking to do good in the land and feed on his faithfulness and cultivate faithfulness. In other words, you are counterculture. You are not rolling your life into everything that's going on on this earth and taking up their causes and going their ways, but you are you are seeking to delight yourself in the Lord and trust in him and and to to do all that you you your life is rolled up in him. Well, What's the big deal? You're, you're unnoticed. It seems like evil is flourishing everywhere. It seems like you are eclipsed by the the uh, the total um, brightness of of evil in the world. And, and what and what the Lord's saying here through David is He's saying, "Listen, as you, as you delight in Him, as you commit to Him, as you as you roll your life into Him, as you give your the burdens of your heart away, as you trust Him to act upon this and take care of everything that's going on, that." One day, as you act righteously and justly right now, uh, that will be brought to light. 
brought to light. And that's the idea is that while it's hidden now, it won't be. He'll bring forth your righteousness, which is actually the righteousness of Christ in this, as the light. Light is seen, right? And your justice as the noonday sun. So righteousness and justice is doing good, acting that way in our society um, uh, according to what the Lord has and, and entrusting that he will act. And so um, another encouraging thought for the morning Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he is going to act. And he'll bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. There'll be a day um, when the wicked are judged and the righteous are exalted. And so we need to just rest in him for that. Again, this is a theme over and over in Psalm 37. And so may you seek the Lord with me in uh, doing things his way, not our ways in the season, uh, that we would, our hearts would be rolled up and wrapped up in, in his in His purposes and that we would trust him to ultimately straighten things out. And on that day, it's going to be sweet when we stand before him and somehow because of Christ, um, our righteousness our justice is going to be seen and it's going to be exalted as we're rewarded by the Lord. Um, what grace and mercy God has. Just trust in him this morning. Trust in him today. He lacked. Commit your way to him. Father, we want to thank you once again that we can just cast our cares upon you. We can cast our burdens upon you. We can cast our woes and anxieties all upon you, trusting that your good, wise, perfect counsel um, is enough for our life, Lord, right now, and that you will bring about the future that you have promised in your time and in your way. And I don't need to be worried about how that is. Like a, like a son with a father, like a kid with a father, knowing that you'll carry us and protect us through the night. And so, Lord, we, uh, we entrust ourselves to you today. We love you. Please forgive us for, for not uh, entrusting ourselves to you, not rolling our lives into yours. Um, make that more full, fully a, a, a reality in our lives today. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you in the morning. Take care.